Hey YouTube, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at DDR5 memory post times just to see kind of how. We're going to do an actual test because I've been hearing a lot of things online. People are saying that DDR5 takes long. I mean, it takes long for the initial, initial post, but let's see what happens when you. The computer is powered off, so it's like cold. It's going to be a cold start. So I have a stopwatch here on my phone to see how long it's going to take. So we're going to press the power button just to kind of show, zoom out here a little bit to see the setup. So this is a fractal torrent. This is the main machine that I use for the live shows. This is a 7950X with 96 gigabytes of RAM across two RAM sticks. You'll see the RAM light up here shortly. So pay attention here because we're going to see the postcode. So I'm only concerned with how long it takes to post, not boot into Windows, because the time it takes to boot into Windows is going to vary by system depending on how many hard drives you have, if it's on an SSD or a hard drive, etc. So we're just going to be listening for the post beep from the speaker off the motherboard. And that's when I'm going to stop the clock here. So we're going to try to line this up properly. So I'm going to hit these two together. As you can see. So we're going to wait for the post. So you can see there's my, that was it. So 12 seconds. So 12 seconds for the post. And you can see after that, it's basically waiting for Windows now. So this is on a dual rank system with 96 gigs of RAM across two dual rank sticks. So it's 48 gigs each. Just to give everybody an idea. So if you have single rank DIMMs, it'll probably be faster. So let's take a look at a couple of other systems. Because this one is on a DDR5 AMD platform. Let's look at an Intel system. So remember, 12 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to test another system. This is going to be a Z790 system. So this one is DDR5. The exact same RAM kit. So it's a 96 gigabyte kit. Rated for 6400 with the XMP profile loaded just like on the other system. So now, again, it's powered off. We're going to try to line this up here. I'm going to press power button up top on the case at the same time. There we go. So it's going 97 any to any second now. There we go. Okay, so 28 seconds for this one. So this one took a little bit longer for the uh, the post beep there. Uh, same exact amount of RAM. So like I said, it depends on your motherboard. The MCR on the AMD boards has improved massively. So that's the reason why a lot of times those post much quicker. Uh, but again, like I said, going into Windows is going to depend on your setup because if you have hard drives, for example, it'll take longer to initialize into Windows. So that's why I'm only I'm only testing these up to the, I hear the post beep because that's when I know typically code 97 uh, indicates that it's going to go into the it's going to successfully post and go into Windows from there. All right, now for this third system, it's going to be different. Now we're going to be testing 48 gigabytes. So this is going to be single rank DDR5. And this is going to be on a 7800X3D. So this is more like a typical gaming PC as opposed to kind of a content creation workstation or high-end desktop. So again, zero. And then we're going to try to line this up and press this at the same time. The idea here with doing this is to see if single rank is significantly faster at posting than dual rank. So far, the... Time to beat is like 12 seconds. So let's see here if single rank can post faster than dual rank. And this doesn't have a seven segment, so we just have to listen for the, the post. All right, so the time for that one was 10.81 seconds. So about 10 and a half seconds. So it is faster than dual rank 
but not by a ton. You know, on the Intel board, it was a little bit longer. It was like 28 seconds, and that was dual rank, 96 gigs across two sticks. But it, the AMD one, the 7950X, also had the exact same RAM, and that one was just marginally slower than this. That kind of showcases the MCR capability with DDR5, which is now it behaves very similar to DDR4. So just to kind of, I did this video because there's been a lot of stuff that I've seen online that seemed like seems to me like misunderstanding or misinformation. That's how long it takes for DDR5 to post once you already have XMP and Expo profiles loaded and you know that the system is stable. So the initial post, I've covered that in multiple different videos at this point. You guys should probably check out my 192 gigabyte video that I did earlier this year or my more recent 8000 versus 6000 or DDR5 6000 versus DDR5 8000 because those videos show kind of how memory training works and how long it takes. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.